Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the Mounds, North Carolina, and today I'll be reviewing this, checking this thing out. So, brake fluid tester, what the heck is that, you might ask yourself. The shop that I work at for many, many years now has used litmus tests, a paper strip test to test for contamination in brake fluid, that being extra copper, <laughs> extra moisture, and just dirt, right? These things have been out for a while, um, but the price has always been kind of above my price point. This came along, I saw it on Amazon, had fairly good reviews. It does work with dot three and four, it also works with five. And it's, you know, it's something that's reusable. You stick the sensor down in the hole and get your fluid level and it's gonna give you just a pretty easy to understand, okay, not okay, dangerously bad news. So. The thing that's cool about it is I got this for less than what it would cost for a little refill of 50 strips. So the price point has finally changed where it's actually cheaper to own one of these than it is to continue to get the strip. So I decided to pick this up. I'm going to put some batteries in it here and we'll test it out on a couple of the cars I have here at the house before I bring it into the shop. This is not staying on the farm. I don't do enough work here at the house to justify this. But for shop use, for if you're a professional or run your own shop in town, this is definitely the way to go. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this thing up. We'll check it out and uh, let's see what we got here. Put two AA or triple A batteries in it and uh, press the power on and we'll put it in there. It says insert the test probe into the brake fluid. Um, hold and press the power button two seconds to turn it off. Press the power button for three seconds to turn it back off. So it pretty much just tests itself. Tips after each operation, please wipe the probe clean to avoid residual stains affecting the next use. Huh. Okay, that seems fairly straightforward. As far as the unit itself, hmm. pretty straightforward. I mean, we just have dot three, dot four, dot five. We have okay, we have caution, and we have better replace. Nice flexible metal thing here. It looks like it has a light in the center and then the two probes to measure what we're measuring for. So pretty cool there. Fluid Tester BF100, that's the model number on that, if anyone's curious about that. So let me go get some AAA batteries, we'll slap it in there, and we'll see what we can do. All right, so I put some batteries in it, press and hold the button, and it comes to life. The little light here is not on, you press and hold the button again, I think. Let me see. Oh, and then the light comes on, I'm not sure. I guess it's good for if you have to get it down into a small hole, and you can see that little LED light's kind of cool. But uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and turn it off. Let's go out to some cars and check the brake fluid, shall we? All right, so I put some batteries into this thing and I've got three cars here. I've got a 2005 uh, Outlander here with lots of miles, lots of years on it. I've got a brand new car, basically 10,000 miles on it. And I've got a 40 year old car. So the brake fluid in all three of these vehicles should be different enough, right? Now, something you do want to know, I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. You can come on in closer. And I'm going to press the button and hold it again so my light comes on just for the sake of this test. Now we do have our choices here, dot three, dot four, dot five point one. So this car takes dot three. So okay, I'll have it set to dot three. Go ahead and dip it in. And it's giving us a caution, right? So it's just the contaminant level is just at the beginning of being a problem. All right, on this one here, it does take dot four. It's a slightly newer car. We'll go ahead and stick that in there and see what our measurement is. And as I expected, being that it has very few miles on and very few years on, this one is testing okay. So, so far, it's reading fairly accurate. Let's go check out the 40-year-old car, but that 40-year-old car doesn't have 40-year-old brake fluid in, so it may test well as well. All right, for the last car, instead of doing the Volkswagen, I decided to do my old Volvo. As far as I'm aware, this has never been flushed. It looks horrible. If I were gonna go based off of just looks, I would definitely be recommending a flush on this. But I've got it set to dot four. Go ahead and stick it in and see what this one says. All right, it's still just giving a caution, although it's a higher caution on this. You can see the uh, contaminants and the moisture level is higher. So it is given that higher level there. So it does appear that the tool works fairly accurately. I'm pretty happy with that. Cool, well let's wrap this thing up. So there it is, it's the King Bolin BF100, the brake fluid 100, inexpensive. I paid less than $30 for this thing. Let me go ahead and shut it off. 
and uh, it works, right? So each one of those tests that I just did would have cost about a dollar for the little strips that we've been using at the shop all these years. So this is a huge advantage. After 30 brake fluid checks, you've already paid for the tool and hopefully it lasts for years and years to come. The fact that it takes two AAA batteries and probably will last uh, many, many years with those little AAAs is also a cool thing. So yeah, I'm gonna bring it down to work and uh, keep it at the shop that I work at in town because we're gonna be, you know, we do maintenance, we do routine service checks, stuff like that. Would I recommend this for a homeowner? No, you could take it to a shop like the one I work at and have somebody check it real quick. But owning this for, for home use is probably way overkill unless you're just really into this sort of stuff. But for shop use, most definitely, I'd say that's a pretty cool tool. And so anytime I pick up anything for the shop or any new tool, that I definitely wanna share it with y'all here on the channel. And uh, that's it. I'd say this one's a keeper. <laughs> anyway, I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.